Hey guys, a couple more cards for you today, and we're going to start with non-traditional color. How about that? How about some pink and red? So I had this paper with the pink poinsettias in the background there, and I decided to just kind of go with pink and red. This is actually a little gorgeous girl image. I'm not real thrilled with how her dress came out, but I think it's it's still cute. Um, cause she's adorable, you know. I used a uh, one of my new dies with the Christmas ornaments, and I put the top of the Christmas ornaments. I just used it as a flourish up here. <clears throat> I used some sparkly poinsettias from um, Hobby Lobby and some berry sprays from my stash obviously it's a shaker and um <laughs> i'll never do this again but i used this die and i had to do a lot of fussy cutting to make this happen but i made this into a shaker card um, i made a pretty bow with my zutter bow at all and i added a gorgeous pink bling from the diy boutique supply um, merry christmas is just a sentiment from um Hobby Lobby. You could buy a pack of, of that Merry Christmas. And I love doing that. I love using like the felt sentiment. And then this is like a plastic covered in glitter. Um, it's so much quicker and easier than stamping something out. And I think it adds a lot more dimension and so forth. So I added this pretty pink trim at the bottom and pops up on red. I added another one of my dies there and then a nice place to write a message. So that's card number one. Let's stick with non-traditional and we'll go with this one, which is a shaped um, card. And usually I like to put my tildes on the, or my images on the outside of the acetate. But on this one, I went ahead and put her on the inside. So... There's the shaker stuff. Oh, don't get on top of her face. That's no good. <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, this gorgeous trim is from China. I ordered that off of eBay. This is a sentiment from a different collection. May the magic of the season fill your heart and home. Um, th this same, whatever this is, ribbon, pink ribbon, um, in the background, I layered this white on top and another gorgeous bling from the DIY Boutique Supply pops up and ta-da, there you go, card number two. All right, card number three is not exactly traditional, but it's more traditional than these. So here's this one and it's more like teal and red. Um... I had this paper that had a teal background with the red poinsettias, so kind of went with that. Let's see if we can get those. See, you can see it there. And we got our shaker bits inside. I used a felt Merry Christmas. So like I said, you know, I've got the felt here. I got the plastic there. Um, and look how dimensional and just festive they make a card look using that. I mean, you could stamp it out and put it on here, or you could stamp it on the acetate, but gosh, I really like that. Um, I used this die. This is a brand new die, and it's actually one piece, and I cut it apart and used it like a flourish. So, um, yeah, I wanted to add some white berries here, and I've got some red leaves in the background. Um, a red seam binding bow, my little gorgeous girl, some pretty trim at the bottom of my globe, and then voila, um, that same die that I used on the first card. And there you go, card number three. All right, guys, if you're interested in any of these cards, I always mention that I do um, link to my eBay store in the description box down below. Um, I thank you so much for watching. I hope you're getting inspired. I'm having a ton of fun. <clears throat> and I am going to do a Christmas configuration box. So 
keep your eye out for that. Um, thanks for watching and have a happy scrappy day. We'll see you soon. Bye.